the characteristic polynomial. So this lesson is where everything from this week comes together. Um, so if you're cu curious, why are we talking about complex numbers? Why are we talking about polynomials? Well, it's all right here. So let's jump right into it. So remember the notion of the characteristic matrix. The characteristic matrix of a square matrix is T times the identity minus the matrix. The characteristic polynomial is the determinant of T times the identity minus the matrix. So the characteristic polynomial is the determinant of the characteristic matrix. And it turns out that this is a super interesting thing. So the notation we use here, by the way, uh, this is not an X. This is a, a Greek letter, the Greek letter chi. So this is chi sub A of T is the determinant of T times the identity minus A. So let's look at an example. So here, uh, the matrix I'm studying is this two by two, whose columns are one, two, negative one, zero. And I'm going to take its characteristic polynomial. So that's chi sub A of T. And here to do that, we need to look at the characteristic matrix, which is T times the two by two identity minus my matrix A. So here, what I'm doing is I'm taking the determinant of this two by two matrix. The columns here are T minus one, negative two, uh, one, and then T. And when I take this determinant, this is a two by two, so I just did it. I got T squared minus T plus two. So the characteristic polynomial of this two by two matrix is this quadratic polynomial. Um, so in this example, A is two by two, and the characteristic polynomial is a monic polynomial of degree two. So it turns out that always happens. If our matrix is n by n, then the characteristic polynomial is always a monic polynomial with degree equal to the um, size of the matrix, n. So here I have a three by three example. So here the matrix I'm studying has columns negative one, three, negative one, 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 negative one, one, negative three, three. The characteristic polynomial of my matrix is the determinant of t times the identity minus my matrix. And so how do we do this? Well, um, we take t, uh, we find the characteristic matrix here, t times the identity minus my matrix. And then um, we calculate its determinant. Here, I just did the determinant calculation and I ended up with t cubed minus 3t squared minus 6t plus eight. What's the thing to infer here? This matrix was three by three and its characteristic polynomial is a monic polynomial with degree three here. So we see this uh, polynomial is monic and the degree is equal to three. Um, so uh, there's plenty to say about the characteristic polynomial, but I wanna start with sort of a warm up so we can get a feel for what it's like to work with this equation. So here's a theorem that tells us that the characteristic polynomial of the transpose of A is the same, so this is equal to the characteristic polynomial of A. So transposing a matrix doesn't change its characteristic polynomial. And the question here is why? Well, let's look at uh, the actual proof. So what is the characteristic polynomial of the determinant? By definition, this is the determinant of T times the identity minus the transpose of A. But now remember that I is symmetric, so its transpose is equal to itself. So this is the same thing as the determinant of T times the identity transpose minus A transpose. And why did I do that? Well, now the thing I want to notice is that we can factor out the transpose from both of these terms. So this is the same thing as the determinant of the quantity T, minus, T times the identity minus A transpose. And now we remember that determinants don't care about transposes. So the determinant of uh, the, this thing, which is the characteristic matrix transpose, is just the determinant of the characteristic matrix, T times the identity minus A, and that's exactly the characteristic polynomial. So this is our proof that the characteristic polynomial of the transpose of a matrix is equal to the uh, characteristic polynomial of the original matrix. The intent here is to acquaint ourselves with the formula for the characteristic polynomial of a matrix.